welcome to the Heck Yes Podcast. Here's your host, Sean Q. Hey, Sean Q here, and I am so excited for this episode because in this episode, I am going to be sharing why you need a high ticket offer. I see it all the time. Entrepreneurs are selling things at $100, $200, $500, and they're leaving so much money on the table when instead they could have this high ticket premium offer where they have this ability to serve clients extraordinarily, transform lives, and make a whole lot of money while doing it. And that's what a high ticket offer is. Like just, okay, let me just break it down. High ticket offer is simply a high transformation offer where you get to do your very best work and get paid really well. And on top of it, you know who buys high ticket offers? Dream clients, people who love paying you, who are invested in the work, who show up to do the work, who take ownership over their results and refer you out to everyone they know. I mean, doesn't that sound like amazing? And so if you have a high ticket offer, you're able to attract higher paying clients who love paying you, who are dream clients. And so I want to encourage you right now, go create a high ticket offer. If you don't have one yet, I'm going to break down like five different things you can incorporate in that high ticket offer so you can figure out what you need to sell. But before I do, one of the biggest struggles I see a lot of entrepreneurs face is they feel like if I raise my prices, then what if people start saying no? And then if I raise my prices, isn't there a higher pressure to like perform? And I know I've been there too, where you're like, okay, I'm, I'm selling at 500. If I raise it to 5,000 and I do a couple of more things, what if I don't get the results? Here's the truth. Okay. If you're taking notes, like this, you got to write this down. When you're trying to sell lower ticket items, there's a whole lot more stress that comes with that service, especially if you're a coach, you're an expert, you're a freelancer. If you're landing clients at $500, it's likely that you are stressing out over trying to get these clients results and stressing out over paying the bills, stressing out over revenue you're bringing in, stressing out over all of like the financial challenges you're facing. So instead, what's actually going to happen is there's not going to be a higher pressure to perform. You're simply going to have more margin to perform because your bills are going to be paid. You're going to have money coming in. You're going to be happy and enjoying life and you show up differently, which means the results are different. They're better. They're more enjoyable. So now, okay, let, let me just break down a couple of different things that are going to help you to really build this high ticket offer. Number one, I want you to be able to recognize uh, that there are already people who are investing. There are people who are already paying high price for a service. So one of the things I would encourage you to do is go find those high ticket solutions that already exist in the market. It's going to inspire you. It's going to show you what you can do. And you're going to be able to look at what is required to sell something for $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, $50,000. You're going to be inspired by how they package it, how they price it, how they position it. So go into Google, go into YouTube and look up $10,000 coaches, $20,000 copywriters, and be inspired by what they're already doing. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just do what people are already doing. It's already working. It's already making the money and you're going to be able to do the same. Okay. So number two, what I want you to do is practice your numbers. This is so key when you're selling high ticket. If you're not confident, write this down. Okay. Write this down. If you're not confident saying your price, they're not going to be confident paying your price. So you got to get comfortable with bigger numbers. You got to just start saying 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. I charge $10,000. I charge $5,000. I charge $15,000. The more you say it, the more comfortable you will be, which means when you're in a conversation with someone and you present this number, they're going to be confident paying it. So make sure you're practicing your numbers. The third thing I want to, I want to encourage you to do when it comes to building your high ticket offer is really define the result and transformation that you create in your client's lives. Okay. So here's a couple of things that you can do. I, I actually learned this from digital marketer. Digital marketer is a incredible marketing company and, uh, they define transformation in four different areas. Number one is what do people have before working with you? Then what do people have after working with you? The second level of transformation is feel. How do people feel before getting results? How do they feel after? The third one is routine. What does their day-to-day -day look like before getting their challenge solved? And what does it look like 
after. And then the final is identity. The final level of transformation is identity. How do they identify themselves before getting the results? And now how do they see themselves after? If you can clearly define the transformation you create, people will beg for the transformation. They will be 100% open, able, willing to pay because they know what they're getting. Okay, the fourth thing I want to encourage you to do is make the ask. If you do not ask, you will not receive. And so make sure you're going out and you're asking people for what you want. You know, the sign of a, and I actually heard this from a really great psychologist, the sign of a healthy adult is being able to ask for what you want without fear of rejection. So for you, like you're an entrepreneur, as a healthy entrepreneur, and as somebody who is incredibly good at what they do, go make the ask. Go ask for what you want. Go ask for the price point you want, the type of clients you want, and make the ask. If you don't make the ask, you will not land the clients. And then the last thing is number five, just believe in yourself. Believe in your ability to get results. Believe in your past results. Believe in your vision, your ambition, your will, your drive to get results. Maybe you're just getting started and you're like, oh my gosh, Sean, I need to start low and then I'll go high and then I'll have the confidence to do it. No, 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 no. Listen, confidence is not a requirement. It's a result. It's a result of you going out and doing it again and again and again, of you going out and making the ask over and over and over. And here's the truth. If you're good at what you do, you deserve to be paid well. I believe every person on this planet deserves to live a life of abundance. And so you have the ability to go make big asks, package your offer and services in a way that's actually going to serve people well, get them results. And and here's the truth. You're going to get paid well, you're going to get, make money. So I want to encourage you, if you don't have a high ticket offer yet, start building it, start putting it together. And I am so excited to see you start making more money and landing dream clients. I'm Sean Q, your high ticket sales coach, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>